I'm just a nobody. Everybody. Somebody. Save my soul. Rest in me. Rest in me. Give my song to sing. Song to sing. Give the world to sing. Jesus. So today we're we're talking about Obadiah. Obadiah. I had to look it up. I look him up every time uh, to see where it happens in chronological history because it just, ah, messes with my mind if it's not in chronological history uh, or chronological order. Obadiah, though, is in chronological order um, if you just kind of ignore the last two books of the Minor Prophets. Um, it picks up after Daniel, so uh, it's in 520-something B.C. Uh, and remember, the smaller the number, the closer to Jesus we get. And uh, Obadiah is 525. Uh, the fall of Jerusalem is like 650, so uh, we're talking after the fall of Jerusalem. And this, so I always knew that the Edomites stood in the gates of Israel, but I never remembered why or how. I knew that the Edomites stayed in the gates of Israel when uh, Jerusalem was being taken over by the Babylonians. Except, uh, I just heard it again in my ears in Obadiah, the beginning of Obadiah. It's a, a message to Esau and Israel saying the deeds that you did, also those deeds will be done to you. That's kind of like the, the theme of of, of Obadiah, the book of Obadiah with the minor prophet. Um, but it, right in the beginning, it talks about how Esau, the tribes of Esau, when they saw that Jerusalem was being plundered by the Babylonians, they would actually go in and they would stand in the gates of Jerusalem, blocking people from being able to get out while they're setting Jerusalem on fire. Pretty vivid stuff. Um, and we remember Jacob and Esau, well, they actually made amends, but their families did not. Lillian's actually outside of the car now, so we're gonna go and give her to, uh, to school. Happy uh, thankful Thursday. I'm thankful for the serenade. Oh, there she goes. All right. I'm thankful for the serenade. I'm gonna go give her, give with her, and make sure she doesn't get hit by a bus.